Bot Coasters today we got one of the most famous bells in Korea ever and basically it has several legends surrounding it and it has really nice design so we'll get right into it. So first of all the design. Now if we look at it, um, there is this really really nice beautiful flying angel design, Buddhist design, that uh, ascending angel to heaven and it's, it's this really really famous, really really cool design as you can see on the bell and it's really intricate and this bell is 2000 years old so this kind of craftsmanship is very 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 cool. And now if we go ahead with the legend, there's a legend that um, basically this bell was uh, created for a, uh, for in the honor of a previous king in the Shilla dynasty, which is one of the three big uh, Korean kingdom dynasties that was in ancient Korea. And we got this really, really nice bell for the previous king. And basically what they did was um, what, what presumably in the legend they said they did was that they shoved a little kid into the bell because it wasn't making any sound and suddenly the bell made sound which is a really creepy legend but if there could be any kind of logical reason why they would do that i mean in ancient times they did used to sometimes use uh, bone powder in weapons and swords and in crafting steel because well um that makes steel a lot more flexible a lot stronger and a lot less brittle and so maybe perhaps in order to make the bell a lot more long lasting and try to make this size of a bell to not break apart and whenever they slammed the big log into it to make noise, they wanted to make it a lot a lot less brittle, so they put in the bones of a child or something. But um, scientifically they actually didn't they didn't actually find any bones. But still, it if they did if they did and the legends are true to some extent, then that would be no, um, technically you can you can um you make use human like flesh stuff to like boil it down and make glue. So there there are a lot of logical reasons why it it could and I'm saying could not it is it could make sense to put a little child into it and there could also be like you know a, a mythical thing like you know a sacrifice for the god. Like a mythical thing like a sacrifice to the gods or something like that, that would also make sense. So they're, they, if the legends are true, then there's a lot of logical reasons why that would make sense. But then again, why would you put in a small child, not animal bones, or, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense when you think about it. But it is a cool legend. And if you hear the sound of the bell right now... That is the sound of the bell, and they play it every uh, two, uh, 20 minutes, uh, no, every yeah, 20 and 40 minutes of the hour because um, you can't exactly have tourists bang the spell every single day they come because and this is a 2,000 year old bell. I mean, it could break, you know, if, you, if they continue slamming a huge wooden log against it, and that wouldn't make any sense. So they got these nice speakers to play the sound uh, every so often, and it's very nice. And apparently, according to legends, the sound of the bell is supposed to be reminiscent of a child calling for his or her or their um, long lost mother. And I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all the legends that surrounding the bell. And it is a very, very nice bell as you can see. Design wise, it is also genius. Legend wise, it's also pretty cool. And perhaps there could be a completely different variation to the legend, like, you know, there was a ch little child laborer that worked on the bell in the forges who died of heat stroke. And the legend was like, oh, but he got put into the bell and stuff. Or it could have been exaggerated in many ways. Legends and myths, they're always exaggerated. So that could be another logical explanation for that. I'm just spinning out theories out of my, just out of the top of my head here. But yeah, so that would make sense. And the legends are pretty cool. The design's pretty cool, like I just said. Look at that beautiful Ascending Angel design. And it is one of the oldest bells in Korea, and that is pretty much it, pretty much all I can say about it. 
And like always, your pot cluster and a pot cluster, it is a great, great bell. I know today I didn't exactly do any review, well, of a bug, but I did review this bell, and I think it is one of the coolest bells. And listen to the noise again, and see if you can hear the cries of a small child asking for his or her long-lost mother. Have a great day, everyone.